Hi guys, um, hello, this is different isn't it? Um, I just thought today I would do, as I mentioned on my previous video, um, a kind of tried and tested series. I wanted to really run a couple of concealers that I've either not tried or kind of only played with a little bit and really want to properly put them through my paces, through their paces. Um, I thought this would be video, a good video idea in terms of hopefully it's helpful for you guys if you're looking for a great under eye uh, concealer that will cover dark circle, circles, I can't speak today, and probably a little bit of redness. Um, so, and also it helps me decide what's going to go into my pro kit. So, for the sake of the experiment keeping it fair, I will be using every day um, my Cogendo Moisture Foundation with a little bit of the Sephora Beauty Amplifier. Um, this is the Afterglow Primer and Luminizer, so I either kind of mix the two together or I put a bit of this on as a primer and then this. The first one I'm going to start with is the cheapest of the lot. Um, you guys know I'm a huge fan of the uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. So in, I think it was Rite Aid recently, I noticed they have the concealer. So I'm very excited to try this. This was $3.99. Um, I'm going to kind of do a big conclusion at the very end of the video with kind of putting the products in order, like first place to last place, how they perform and kind of comparing them all. Um, but I'll kind of go through my day to day and show you checking in how they're wearing, how they look. So the first one I'm going to start with is the Wet n Wild one. So um, let's let's try. Uh, they only had the only shade they had left when I was in the store was light medium beige. So hopefully this works. I'm going to do the first side with fingers, and it's fair to say that most of the concealers I've chosen for this like experiment, tried and tested video are either with a doe for applicator or a kind of spongy applicator. So they're more liquid concealers, I would say. So far, not too bad in terms of the colour. Oh, my bad. I have just washed my hair. I've been for a run this morning and done emails working from home. So with fingers, this is blending really nicely so far. Very good coverage, actually. I mean, I know that I love the foundation, so I was really interested to see if a $3.99 concealer can be as good as I would like it to be. So comparing to the other side, it's taken down a little bit of my redness quite well. And I've gotta say, so far this feels very, very impressive. It's making me very excited. So if I come a little bit closer, and obviously I'm someone who doesn't wear a lot of makeup, so I'm kind of, take that into consideration, I guess, when you're watching this. Um, but yeah, so let's try with Beauty Blender. So we'll pop about the same amount on. One thing I will say with this is it doesn't feel like loads comes out on the doe for applicator. You know how when you use like a NARS or say an Urban Decay one, you get quite a lot, you can almost do like a whole face. I think with this you do have to go back in. So going in with Beauty Blender, pretty good I'd say. I feel like it's covered most of my redness because when I go for a run I feel like my skin stays a bit pink for at least two hours afterwards, even after I shower. Um, let's do a tiny dot more. I do find with beauty blenders generally they kind of absorb quite a bit of product so you might find you have to go in with a little bit extra. But let's... So that is the side with the beauty blender. Side without the beauty blender. So we have to remember the right side is the fingers, this side is the beauty blender. Um, also, for the sake of argument, I will use a little bit of the same powder every day, and I'm going to use my Chanel, this is the Universal Powder Compact. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of that under my eyes. But yeah, I will do the rest of my makeup and check in with you in a little bit. Hey guys, so um, it's about 1.30 now, and I'm on my way to the job I'm doing today. Thought I'd show you the concealer. Hopefully this light isn't horrendous. But I have to say, for a $3.99 concealer, there is no creasing. That's just my fine lines for you. And I'm really impressed. I think $3.99 so far, this is a high contender. Let's see how it fares up when I reapply later on this evening. I'm gonna go to work now, and I will check in with you guys later. So I'm in the powder room with the lovely Monica Blunder. Hi, I'm just applying <laughs> Concealer. She's doing the test with me, so I've just oh reapplied. Let me wait for this to focus so you can see on reapplication it reapplies really nicely. Wow, it's really It's nice. really nice, isn't it? Um, what do you think of my under eye, Monica? I feel like let's get the Monica. Okay, let me just put a Oh, she's going to do a little bit more. Just a touch. Oh, I feel so special right now. I mean, we don't have any brushes with us, but we're just going to do a In little bit. In the powder room like with Monica Blunder. 
with a little bit of my oh, I feel finger. So special right now. A little bit blending it in. It's really nice. And Isn't clean. it? And it's it moves. so good. And it moves. I love it. Gorgeous. So I'm looking totally radiant now. <laughs> so I would say that one is definitely giving the more expensive ones a run for the money, guys. Um, so I'll just bring it a bit closer so you can see when the camera focuses. Obviously, we've not got natural light in here, but that is pretty damn impressive. Um, so we're going to go to the Lancome event now and have some fun. You can see how amazingly beautiful. Let me stand back so you guys can actually see Ooh, how incredible the uh, restroom is, as they say in America. <laughs> Here in, uh, this is the Hotel Bel Air. And me and the lovely Monica are just reapplying makeup, ready Hi. for Lancome. Good morning, guys. Today I am going to try out Milk Makeup's Flex Concealer, which a lot of you guys have asked me about. Let's try light first. Maybe I will be near a light now that I've got, oh, do you know what? I don't think we'll need medium. I think I'm light, that's fair to say. When I first got these, I was definitely a lot warmer. So I'll start, I'm gonna try it around my nose as well. We'll do this side with fingers. Let's see how this works. Feels quite creamy. Um, and it says this is quite high coverage, so I think it's supposed to have quite like an elastic feeling. So hopefully you can see it as I'm blending. Let's come a bit closer the most wonderfully flattering angle but I would say that's blending really nicely it does feel quite emollient definitely brighter than the other eye oh tell the cars are all peeping so really nice around the nose I like that I can use this kind of under the eye area and my nose looks nice I feel like that looks nice and bright compared to the other side let's go in with damp beauty blender on this side and just see. So I do a kind of couple of dots each side. And I'm just gonna try with Beauty Blender. So this is the side with fingers. This is the side with the Beauty Blender. So I definitely had to put more on the side with the Beauty Blender compared to the side I did with my fingers. So just on my way to see my friend Kayla checking in on the concealer status um i feel like it hasn't made that much difference whether it's with a beauty blender or going down a steep hill or using my fingers to be honest so so far i'm kind of liking the effect of both it feels like it still looks like my skin and um yeah i mean what do you guys think i feel like wait for the camera to focus i'm gonna show my friend i feel like my dark circle is coming back a little bit but I haven't touched it up yet either. And I think before I go out this evening, going for drinks with a friend, I will touch it up. But there's no dryness, no kind of clinging to skin. So, so far it's a thumbs up. So we've just finished recording. Say hi, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. <laughs> this is the aftermath. We've had pizza, wine, mm -hmm. and I thought, what time is it now, Lindsay? It's 9.07 in the PM. Okay, so I'm gonna give Lindsay the camera so she can show you my concealer and check I'm all in focus. Whoa, well, there I am. Yeah. My dad says I look like Ross Noble when I put my hair like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, it does feel drier, funny enough, when I go back in, but I think that's because my skin's now drier as well. I could have even like refreshed with some face mist. And I think my redness has come back through here, which is always like the first place I get the redness. Now, I did do it with Beauty Blender earlier, but I feel like, but I think warmth of fingers, like reapplying is actually quite good, because I don't know, many people, are you gonna take a Beauty Blender with you? No, Lindsay's shaking her head. So, um, <laughs> look at that for effects. <laughs> okay, so definitely now need blusher and all the rest. I'll show you a little photo before we go out, because we're gonna get some wine, we're gonna be adults. <laughs> and go for a drink after nine o'clock. <gasps> Scandalous. Is that on? So a little final check-in before we go out for drinks. I have unross nobled my face. And um, this is the concealer on kind of like a reapplication. Looks good. I feel like it actually reapplies really, really nicely on top of old tired skin. So um, I feel like that definitely gets a good thumbs up. Good morning guys, um, I had a very, very early start today. Today I am shooting in West Hollywood. Um, so I thought we'd try another concealer. Today I am trying, this is a new one from Rimmel. It is Lasting Finish 
25 hour breathable concealer. Let's see if we're gonna focus, maybe not. So yeah, I thought I could try this. I am trying the shade 200 light. Um, it's got a similar applicator to the Tom Ford one. So hopefully this is the right color because that will be a little bit awkward if it's not the right color. And I'm gonna have to bring you closer now. Oh, that's quite a lot. Okay. Now, don't have my beauty blender with me right now because, like I said, it was an early start. Wow, that was quite good coverage, actually. Checking the colour in my bigger mirror. I think we're good colour-wise. So, in car makeup is a usual occurrence for me. Oh, this has got pretty good coverage, guys. So... I'll test it out later with a beauty blender but I'm very tired because I wake up very very early so today will be a good test I will powder it once I get inside but nice and brightening I would say I like the consistency the cons consistency feels nice and emollient but thick enough that there's coverage not too sticky pretty good pretty impressive I'd say Ross Noble is back in the house so I'm gonna crack on, get a set up at work, and I'll check in with you guys later when I'm on set. It's a little bit behind the scenes, just showing you inside the studio today. Everyone's currently on lunch, so I better go and show you my concealer. So I've just come outside to show you guys in natural light because in the studio, all the lights are kind of really low um, as we're shooting on set. So, um, update on the Rimmel concealer. I feel like in natural light, it looks really good actually. When I was inside, I was thinking, oh, I look really shadowy again. However, not really any creasing and obviously i didn't do this with the beauty blender i think anytime i look down like that it's going to look darker and scarier so that's where i would kind of normally judge it on the consistency was nice it was creamy and so far i'm impressed it's now about 3 3 30 i think no probably about three o'clock so it's been on for quite a while and i feel like when a concealer says 25 hours i'm not sure i believe that however it's very very good for the price point so um so far so good good evening guys um i've just got back from work it is now 8 45 pm it was a late one today and a very long day so i'm being very feeling very tired i've got no natural daylight left to show you what remains of my concealer um as you can see there's pretty much nothing there so I would say not 25 hour wear, let's be real Rimmel. Um, I think the concealer is still beautiful, a really, really lovely concealer, performs like quite a high end one, so great for the price point. Um, again, I've got the kind of gross mascara bits now as well. And I appreciate this light isn't helping, so maybe we'll just put my torch on and blind myself. No, that's not gonna help, is it? I'm trying to see if I give you some more light. <laughs> Dave's laughing at my wonderful camera skills. Good morning everyone. Um, it's another very early start on the shoot I'm on today. I think I'm the first one here. So as you can see, it's like everyone's makeup bags, all the hair stuff, and I have got to the studio maybe first. Um, and the concealers I wanted to test today were the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. You guys asked me a lot about these, and I've only really just kind of started playing with them in my kit and what I have tried I've enjoyed so I thought I would show you how they wear um, it's not properly daylight yet because it's quite early still um, so we're gonna have to make do with the crazy lighting Hope if I hold you there you can see I don't actually have my perfect shade so I'm going to use uh, light and medium and mix them together so I'm just gonna pop you down for one second so I feel like this is probably a bit too much to start with but nonetheless we're gonna work with it so Hopefully I've mixed the right shade and I do feel like a little of this goes a really, really long way. Um, and this claims to be non-creasing, very long lasting. Obviously, as you can see, it's very full coverage. Um, it would definitely help if I had the right shade. Beauty blender, where is my beauty blender? Quite a bit of redness around my nose today. Obviously the lighting in here as well is gonna make me look a lot more yellow because this is kind of like studio camera lights. Um, working with a very lovely skincare brand today. Hardest thing is when I work is I can't really tell you guys what I'm doing a lot of the time, um, which is tricky. I'd love to share more. Okay, so 
let's try and do this so you can see in the light so application is nice it's definitely an improvement I always think with concealer you still need to see it from like further away as well as close up but in terms of how it's sitting let the camera focus it's nice it still looks like skin I feel like for me the aim is always for it to look like skin um, so I'm going to give it a little powder and I will check back in with you guys later um, yeah it's very early I will see you in a bit so what time is it now girls just doing a little check in I think it's, um, it is oh, weekend. okay 10 past 3 and just giving you an update on the concealer um, this is a bit of a later check in than normal it's still there there's still a bit of the yellow under yellow undertone and it's covered a bit um, let's do your real close up not sure not sure what do we think people I'll check in again later but um, yeah, I feel so so about this one so very very frizzy back home now TV's on and it is now um, 8 30 p.m. and yes I did forget to carry on vlogging throughout the day but today was so manic at work there just was no time so one of the models did say that she thought my under eye area looked very bright so that says something I guess about the Tarte concealer um obviously I've not had time to reapply if I bring you in closely I think there's a little bit of coverage still but I feel like it sort of started to wear away obviously around my nose but to be honest that happens with any concealer by this time of the day so I feel like it's definitely a good concealer it's not a bad concealer I just feel like it's such a hyped up concealer and I think this is one that when you use like a little goes a long way so again I'll conclude kind of with them all at the end of the video or the beginning however I edit this um but yeah that is me looking very frizzy haired and um yeah just so you can see how that concealer kind of finished towards the end of the day good morning everyone we are on our way for a road trip which is very exciting we're going to san diego um because we've not been before and we said we wanted to try it out thank you for everyone on insta stories oh, I sat there. the lights problematic i still wanted to apply it i do my makeup in the car because we got up late and the hairpins are in so i look like pippi long stocking today i'm going to try the whoa chanel concealer this one is the chanel this is corrector perfection concealer and I'm the shade 20 I think in this so I'm gonna give this a go and um, hopefully the light won't be too crazy but I will kind of show you throughout the day as well how this one wears this one feels a lot thicker hopefully you can see when I put it on it definitely comes out like a lot thicker than the others it feels very very creamy when I apply it with my finger and there's a lot of yellow in this so it does like cancel out really nicely any darkness under the eyes okay so this is the beauty blender eye in two miles take exit 45 to merge onto i-105 east towards and Norwalk. i'm going to use beauty blender so i find with most of these concealers when i'm using the beauty blender it is kind of soaking up a lot of product very quickly so you're adding more product so that's one thing to keep in mind i would say so let's see how close we can get with my camera actually staying sharp. Nice! I like it. I feel like it's just as nice a beauty blender. See, the thing with this one is because it feels so creamy, I feel like it's creasing already. Like you would definitely have to set this one, um, which I'm going to, but I am noticing that it's a lot creamier than the other ones in consistency. So I feel like I still could add a little bit more with the beauty blender. It's so tempting not to kind of to just use the beauty blender to tap in the other side as well. Yeah. So we have just got to Cody's and everything looks really really yummy. It's all like we spent three hours in the car. A little check-in on the old concealerage. Um, I feel like it is very yellow under tech, it's kind of it's a slight separation in colour on my skin. But the coverage is there, it's good. It's probably creased a little bit more than the other ones. But I do like how kind of thick it is, so I'm still testing. This is about four hours in, and I'm going to some food. Check out with you guys later. So it is now feeling way later. 
<laughs> normal. We've been in the hot tub, we've been around San Diego for the day, and we're about to go out for some evening drinks. Um, this is what I do with my hair when I feel like it started to get a bit gross from this hot tub hair. But I'm gonna go back in with the Chanel concealer. Um, I have had a few glasses of Prosecco, I'm not gonna lie, people. So I still have, I've just done a bit of a ColourPop shimmer eyeshadow on my eyes and I just want to use this concealer instead of kind of redoing foundation because I feel like who wants to put foundation on again this is just a much easier way so I wanted to see how it would kind of like re-layer if it would work well and that is I mean it is very yellowy that's one thing I will say I feel like if you have more pink toned skin you want to make sure you get one that's kind of a little bit more complimentary but it definitely gets rid of the redness really really well in the skin so just looking in the mirror, I feel like it definitely, you can use this concealer instead of foundation really, really well. Um, generally I would say this has lasted well. It feels like the most yellow toned of all the concealers I've tried so far. So for some people that'd be a good thing, some people it won't. Um, I feel like that's it for this evening. It's time for more Prosecco. And um, I will be trying a new concealer tomorrow. Okay, morning guys. Um, feeling a little bit worse wear today, so I felt like today was the perfect chance to test out the most expensive concealer out of all of them. I think this one is $54. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. It's the Tom Ford Concealing Pen. So this one has like a spongy applicator. Now I have used this before, but it's been quite a while since I've used it. Lovely Dave is filming this, so hopefully we're all in focus. Um, I mean, I would never kind of blend it fully in with the sponge. I get the point of it, it kind of like spreads it around nicely. But I'm going to do this with fingers. I'll do one side with Beauty Blender and one side without. And just going in with my Beauty Blender. I kind of feel like definitely, again, removes a little bit of the product. So I feel like I need to add a little bit more when I use a Beauty Blender. So I'm going to go back in. And for me, it is that kind of really shadowy bit today where I've had very little sleep because I had too much fun last night. So. Um, just gonna add a little bit more and I'm doing very minimal makeup today. So I feel like when I can compare the two in the mirror straight on, I like both. But let's see how it works throughout the day. Oh, I've got a hangover from hell, so this concealer is having to work really hard today. Um, so far, I'm liking it. I feel like for the price point, you would expect it to be good. Um, it definitely, I think because it's like a thinner c consistency than the others, it feels like it just smooths in quite nicely. So I'll bring you a bit closer. So again, a little bit of creasing where I have fine lines, but nothing crazy. Um, and obviously this is the one day where the concealer has had to work very, very hard. It's the tiredest I've been out of all the days so far. But I feel like I still look fresh-ish. So um, yeah, I feel like um, as I hoped it would, it's performing well so far. Definitely a th thinner consistency than the others. Um, we're just out taking some photos at the minute. So Dave's just gone while I went in the car and I'll check in in a bit. Hello, I have a new haircut, which you have all been super, super lovely about. Thank you for all your lovely comments. Obviously this bit is now filmed after I'd done all the testing because I wanted to come back and do a little conclusion, let you guys know which is the favorite. Um, first thing I have to say, I think with these concealers, I honestly don't think any of them were bad, which is a good thing. I feel like it just goes to show how far kind of concealer, the technology has come now that's trickled down into the more affordable brands and that's definitely something I saw testing these concealers. I do think as well, take into consideration, I would say I have kind of normal to dry skin. So there may be some concealers for me that probably didn't work as well, but perhaps might be great on your skin. And I think that's the thing, it's kind of one of those things that if you can test where possible, it's always gonna be better when it comes to choosing your own perfect concealer. Um, but without further ado, I've got my notebook. I've been making notes all through the week on kind of what I thought of the concealers, how I figured they performed. Um, and yeah, the main thing I was testing for during this whole experience was covering under eye darkness and little bits of redness kind of around the nose, bits of redness that you could kind of touch up throughout the day. So that's what I was testing these concealers for. Not to cover spots, I'm gonna do a separate video on that at another time. If you guys like this one, let's see. Um, so, let's see, to put them in order, I still can't commit, I'm really struggling to commit to like which one is actually first place. But I feel like I'm gonna give it my best shot because again, 
keep in mind these were all better than I expected them to be. I definitely think that's fair to say. I thought there were going to be some that would be massively different in terms of how they performed. And I do think generally, overall, I was really impressed with nearly all the concealers. So even the one that's last, it's not bad. It's just probably the one that I won't choose first time over other concealers. So in sixth place, we have the let me just check my facts. We have the Chanel concealer. Again, it wasn't a bad concealer. I liked it. I just found of all of them, this is the only one that did crease a little bit on me. Nothing drastic, nothing awful. Um, this one is priced at $43 and only comes in seven shades. So for a high-end concealer of that price point, I would expect there to be more shades to choose from. And that was my only big issue for this and why I've chosen to put it in sixth place. So in fifth place, we have Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And again, I don't dislike this product at all. I think, again, this is about personal preference. For me, things that I did like about it, I like the fact a tiny bit goes a long way. I do feel like you need a tool to help blend it in a little, a little bit better. It does need a bit of a beauty blender to kind of work it into the skin. And when I tried later on um, off camera doing it with a beauty blender, it definitely looked better. Now obviously on the day I was trying it, I was at work and everything's a bit stressful. So I perhaps didn't show on camera everything I wanted to test. However, it reapplied nicely later on but it went on better with a beauty blender. And the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer comes in at $27 and it does have 14 shades. So that's not bad. I like the fact that there's more shades to choose from. I think that's pretty good. Again, it's not a bad concealer. I just think for me, it was quite a heavy concealer and it said it didn't crease. And while I'd agree with that, if you're using a beauty blender, I think that's true. I think without a beauty blender, there's a little bit of crease in there, depending on how much you're applying to the under eye area. But still a nice concealer. I didn't dislike it. It just, I think it has a lot of hype. And for me, there's other concealers I prefer over it. So fourth place, we have Tom Ford concealing pen. Now this one is the most expensive of them all. This is $53, comes in 12 shades. Again, I didn't dislike this. One thing I did really like about this is the fact that it's a thinner formula in which it's easier to build. I feel like if you don't want super crazy coverage, again, it still covers dark circles, but I feel like it gives you it gives you a way to build and level the concealer that looks really natural and really buildable. I felt this looked nice later in the evening. It reapplied beautifully. Um, and this one does come in 12 shades, but again, $53. It definitely wasn't going to be my favorite of the bunch. So take it with a pinch of salt. For some people, this will be way too much money to spend on a concealer. I think if you love Tom Ford, you'll like it. The spongy applicator that it has, how you apply it, for me, is very comparable to the Maybelline one. For me, it doesn't make the concealer particularly go on any better, um, but I still think the actual formula of the concealer itself is very, very nice, and I like the buildability of this one. So this is the, in third place, is Rimmel's Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Concealer. Um, I was really impressed with this. My only thing that annoyed me is the fact that they said 25 hours wear, because A, I don't know many people that are gonna want their concealer to last 25 hours, because hopefully within 24 hours you'd be asleep at some point, so wanting to take it off, and yeah, I do feel like this one is good. Very, very good for the price point. Um, my only, the reason it's in third place and not higher is because this one is only available in five shades. So again, it's hard because the actual formula was really lovely. I found this quite similar to the shape tape in consistency for a much more affordable price point. This comes in at uh, six pounds 49. I couldn't find the price in dollars but in pounds it was six pounds 49, I think, or it might've been about $10, 8 dollars in dollars. Um, very, very lovely, really, really enjoyed this one. Again, it has a similar applicator to the Tom Ford, so if you're looking for like a dupe for the Tom Ford one, this is also a really nice one. This one, the whole point of it is that it's breathable, light to medium coverage, um, lightweight and feel, and I definitely feel like you can get the coverage you need with this and it still look like skin. And that was another big thing for me with all this testing is I wanted it to still look like my skin and not cakey, not detectable that it's makeup. So that's kind of what I was testing it on. So we're down to the final two and I almost want to put them in joint first because it's really hard to kind of choose just one. So 
I really don't want to commit to like putting one in second place. So my issue is one is a ridiculously good price point. My other issue is the other one has a better shade range. And I do think if I'm judging it just on the formula, then I know which one wins. Oh, it's so hard. No, it's gonna have to be joint, okay. I'm sorry that I wimped out, but it is joint first and second, because I can't make a decision. It is the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer and the Wet and Wild Photo, Wet and Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Um, both different in that the Milk one, it, it, this one costs $28, so it's a bit more like mid-price range of all the concealers I tried. Still a little bit high-end, but not into the level of like Tom Ford and Chanel. This one it comes in eight shades, so I would love to see them make more shades, but I still feel it's better than this one, which has less shades. And this one, I like the Dofa applicator. This really surprised me actually. It really had like a nice fluid formula in how it moved. This one dried down really nicely, and I feel like this one was the one that when I reapplied later throughout the day, it just looked really fresh. My skin looked really healthy, really dewy, and lovely and fresh. And I didn't really need to like put anything under the skin. It just looked lovely when I was going out again that evening. Lasted really well, and I think this surprised me. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did. Um, so yeah, that is one of my second first places. The other one has to be because of the price point. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. So yeah, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer is such a snip at $3.99, the price is ridiculous. You guys know I love the Photo Focus Foundation and I was very excited to see if this could be as good as that. I'm very pleased to say it is. I definitely feel like when you first get it out, um, it does tend to feel a little bit like, not drier in the consistency of the product, but like not loads comes out on the dough for applicator. But it's $3.99, so you can buy two if you need to. Um, the shade range, again, could be better. This one comes in six shades, so more than the Rimmel, um, but the price point, $3.99. I think if you got this and you didn't like it, you've not lost loads of money. Um, also worth noting that Wet n Wild are cruelty free, which is really great, and this particular product is vegan. So they ticked a lot of boxes in terms of this being kind of up there as part of the top spots. And it's funny, when I was using it with Monica, we both said it's kind of like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It really feels like a dupe for that. So if you love that concealer, I definitely think see if you can find a match to, to match a shade match in the Wet n Wild Concealer. Um, just a brilliant, brilliant concealer. Reapplied beautifully on top of old tired skin. Wore really nicely, no dragging, no um, caking a really really beautiful concealer so i hope that was helpful guys i know it's a long video but i feel like maybe next time i'll test like four products i'd quite like to do liquid eyeliners i think there might be a bit more disparity within um trying those products so let me know if you'd like me to do more of these videos um it was fun doing i know it was vlog style so maybe not to everyone's cup of tea but it's just good to try new things and I've also done, as I said, a blog post to go with this video as well, which I will link down below, which is five common concealer mistakes to avoid. So I'll pop that down below with some little tips and tricks in there as well. So I hope that was enjoyable, guys. Let me know down below in the comments if you'd like to see more of these videos. I would love it if you subscribe and I'll see you soon for more. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.